So earlier on I picked up these delicious mackerel fillets and they are, as we said earlier, the tiger of the sea. They're fast, they're fit, they're lean, they're delicious. But I'm going to fry them off in a little bit of olive oil and then I'm going to make a delicious beetroot and horseradish cream to go with it. Really simple, really fast and really healthy. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on a plate. So I'm just coating all of the mackerel with olive oil. It's beautiful. I want to get the skin really, really crispy because the skin is actually quite succulent and silky. So we want a really crispy skin to it. Very, very hot grill. Great for a barbecue. So you can hear the sizzling and it's all seasoning up and crisping. So earlier on I got some delicious beetroot. You don't want to get the vacuum packed beetroot. They just lack the flavour and they also don't have the same kind of delicious kind of succulentness that the real beetroot has. And I've already cooked off my beetroot. So it took about half an hour to cook and a little bit of water in a saucepan. Now you know when a beetroot is cooked is when you push it the skin with your thumb and the, the skin of the beetroot actually comes off. Then I peel them, then I grate them. And my mackerel is nearly done, so I'm going to turn that over. Just watch as I'm turning over the beautiful skin. Like look at the beautiful crispy skin that we're getting. And it only takes a couple of minutes. And then I've got this huge horseradish which I'm going to grate into this. Now the horseradish is delicious, deep, kind of mustardy flavours. And a lot of people don't pair it with beetroot, but it just goes so well. You don't need that much in it. And also the mackerel is quite strong in flavour, so it can really handle a good gusty sauce to go with it. It's about a good tablespoon of the beetroot. Then I'm putting in about 100 ml of creme fraiche. Delicious creme fraiche. Of course, if you're trying to be a little bit healthier, you could also use yogurt. That would work really well as well. The juice of one lemon. Squeeze in a little bit of the juice, hold it in your hand so you can pick the pips out. Then whisk it all around. Lots of salt and pepper in as well. So you've got the creaminess of the creme fraiche, the kind of zestiness of the lemon, the deep and kind of mustardy taste of the horseradish, and then the kind of fruity, kind of sweeter taste of the beetroot. So the mackerel's been on a really hot temperature. It's already been drizzled with olive oil. And I want a really crispy skin. Now look at that. The meat inside of the skin is going to be really silky and succulent. And then we've got a gorgeous, crispy skin to it. I love those, you know, different textures. That only took about a minute and a half on each side. Actually, one fillet will fill one person. They're so cheap as well and easy to make. And I've got my delicious horseradish and beetroot relish. And look at the colours of this, the pink fantastic colours. It just gives a wonderful vibrancy to the whole dish. Anybody want to taste it? Come on, you look like you're eager. Just taking that other mackerel off the heat because there's lots of people around here who want to taste it. Now, have you had mackerel before? No. Oh, really? This is your but first I've time? I've mackerel, but not, not, not real. Not, not real not mackerel, dish, okay. Mm. Do you like it? When you go buy mackerel, does it encourage you to buy fresh mackerel? Mm. And they're so cheap. I think they cost like a pound or something like that for a fish. Quite cheap. And there's, there's Darren, the man who actually gave it to us. <laughs> so this is where we got our fish from, Darren. Actually, Darren, you have to taste it too. Here. Look, cabbage. No, it's not. It's um, a beetroot. Do you like it? Voila, mackerel fried. Delicious, easy sauce to go with it. I hope you try it at home.